rooms and today I'm gonna to be going over a little bit of hardware I recently just purchased a brand new safety razor from the Holy Black Trading Company I'm going to bring it down do the unboxing put a slapper razor in there bring it up for my final thoughts for comparison's sake this is my old original safety razor very flim flimsy you can hear the rattle um, the way you would load a blade in there twist the bottom and that's how it would be got dropped a couple times it did stand the test of time I've had it for a couple of years now and uh, it's still it's still functional but it's just not um, like the hinges are a little loose and things like that so it kind of like uh, is not as sturdy as it was when I first got it so I decided I needed an upgrade I'm gonna put this one aside and this is the holy black SR 71 safety razor when you get the razor you get a nice cool sticker I'm gonna be putting it on my laptop and there it is that is the SR 71 double-edged safety razor it is the heaviest razor I've ever held in my hands I believe it's hundred and twenty eight grams according to the website so it is I think it's the heaviest safety razor on the market it retails for about 46 bucks and um, you can definitely tell the quality when you're holding it you can feel the quality so let's slap a razor on this and just twist off the All right, that is bending the blade in a downward. See the way the blade curves? So you get that, get that arc. And that is the SR-71 safety razor from the Holy Black. Let's bring it back on top to give you my final thoughts and rating. So I'm back on top with the SR-71 safety razor. If I were to give this razor a rating, I'd have to give it an eight. It doesn't get a perfect score because I feel if you're gonna sell a razor, throw in a blade. It doesn't have to be their special black one. Um, it could be anywhere. Any, it could be a regular razor. Although, including one black blade with this razor would have made it just a 10. If you are into safety razors and you want something with a little with quality, something with some weight to it, you know, it feels good in the hand. It feels like if you hold this in your hand and you deck someone in the face, you're knocking them out. It's kind of like a roll of quarters in your fist. You know, I, I will go as far as to say as this is a deadly weapon. With the razor and the stack of quarters in my hand, let's say you're out in the street, you're shaving your face. Someone jumps, if someone tries to jump you, use your razor to fight them off. All joking aside, very high quality razor. The handle is very non-slip. The knurling in the handle makes it very grippy. Um, and the logo on the bottom, it's a very nice touch. All in all, a beautiful razor. I can't wait to get this going. I can't wait to continue my shaving cream experiments to find out if shaving creams matter. So I will be using this guy right here to complete my shaving cream analysis with shaving my face. 
And once I finish that, I'll be growing the beard back because I like the beard, I really did. And uh, it was my first time growing a beard. And now I kind of understand how to fill in the, the cracks here. Like I got a little bald spot right here happening and it happens here on both sides. So now I kind of got like the science and how to fill those in. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you like the concept of the video, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next review. Later.